When we were married, Margot and I were committed to following Christ so that with one heart and mouth we might glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Together we served him as active members of our local church in Wentworthville. But because Jesus is Lord, it wasn't a surprise that he called us with our children to serve him in central Java, Indonesia in the 1980s. In December 1988, we returned to Australia and studied at Moore College for the following three years. Noel was ordained in 1992 and we served in several parishes. Then in 2002, we believed that our Lord was asking us to go overseas with CMS to Nairobi, this time leaving our family behind. That was a big cost, both for us and them. We went as liaison officers to look after all manner of needs for CMS missionaries in East Africa and step by step to see what doors God would open for other service. We helped with travel arrangements, hospitality, visas and accommodation for bishops, medical emergencies, organising documents and from time to time we continue to do those sorts of things. We were linked to an Anglican church, St Luke's Kenyatta Markets, where Noel preached and led services and Bible studies. Later he began preaching regularly at the two branch churches of Emmanuel and Lindy, deep in the Kibera slum. I joined Mother's Union and for a while spent each Tuesday with the Kibera card ladies. We got involved with many people. This helped to open our eyes to the enormous complexity of the problems and suffering of the African poor. Grinding poverty leading to prostitution, HIV AIDS, typhoid and malaria, lack of water, electricity and sewerage, and people regarding themselves and each other as worthless. Many of these are his sons and daughters our brothers and sisters in Christ, because he is their Lord too. And others, made in the image of God, are those for whom he died, that they might become his children. If Jesus Christ is your Lord, they are your brothers and sisters in Christ too. How can we not care about them? And just think about new furniture, cars, expensive holidays, lavish meals and endless entertainment. We are just beginning to learn about serving Christ in the slums. It's challenging, confronting and worthwhile. Belonging to the congregations in Kibera has helped give Noel insight into the situations where many of his students at Carlisle College are already and will be working in the future. Carlisle College is a church army theological college which has become increasingly a major part of Noel's ministry. There he teaches the Bible to young and older students who are committed to mission and serving Jesus as Lord in slums, remote areas of Kenya and in other difficult countries in Africa. Noel has enjoyed struggling to help students overcome educational, cultural and language barriers as they explore the whole of what the Bible teaches and consider what the implications of following Jesus as Lord mean in Africa today. When we return, my involvement at Carlisle College will increase to full-time teaching, with probably a special responsibility for helping some Sudanese pastors who will have come for further training. Just as I found God opening doors for the use of my gifts, experience and training, so too Margot has used her training in teaching English as a second language to tutor a variety of students, including a term teaching English in an informal university to French-speaking refugees who have fled to Nairobi from different African countries. Recently, she has turned her attention to using her librarianship training and skills to set up and organise the running of the library at West Nairobi School 
where many of the students are children of missionaries who serve in East Africa. My interest in patchwork and quilting has led me to be involved with the Kenya Quilt Guild, where I interact with many ladies from non-Christian backgrounds, including a number of Indian and Pakistani ladies. I have reorganised their library too. Since Jesus is Lord, we can trust him to continue to lead us into the places where he wants us to serve. Nairobi may have its five-star hotels, expensive shopping malls and restaurants, but it is also known as Nairobi, a place of locks, barred doors and windows, razor wire, electric fences, guards, violent crime, robbery and carjacking. It is good that Jesus is Lord and that our lives are in his hands, although that doesn't mean that he'll never let anything nasty happen to us. If Jesus is your Lord, what does he want you to be doing with the rest of your life? He may be calling you to pray for the building of his church in Nairobi and other parts of the world. That's important. Keep doing it, please. But if you haven't already done so, make sure you become a member of CMS so you get regular information to help you pray specifically and consider asking to get our regular prayer letter. He may be calling you to give. Christians have always shared in the cost of gospel ministry. CMS enables Noel and I to be in Nairobi and there are significant costs to be met. We are all called to costly service not just giving loose change. Christ gave his life for us to make us his children. He may call you to go. Missionary work requires people like you. God chooses to work through people. It's an enormous privilege and responsibility. If Jesus is Lord, these people matter to him. If Jesus is your Lord, what does he want you to be doing with the rest of your life? Have you asked him? Do you really think he's able to make his way known to you and enable you to follow his leading? If you are committed to obey him, he'll show you one step at a time.